Okay, hello. Hey, artist Caleb here. Let's um, let's play a little bit of Longest Journey. The Longest Journey. This guy's out here all day long. All yeah, you already said that. Um. Okay, where are we going exactly? To the subway? To the academy? To the bridges? What was back here again? Let's just find out. That's right. Subway. I guess let's go ahead and go to the academy. Off you go. Sweet. Bishop. Anne Marie. It's the official Vava notice board. Only registered students are allowed to put notices up here. The annual VAVA Summer Exhibit, August 11th through 18th. God, I'm actually expected to be ready by then. Better do Need it. model to pose nude for serious work. P.S. Only looking for young and beautiful. It used to be chicks, then he crossed it out and wrote, Women. That's smooth, man. I must remember that. Film equipment for sale. Antique. 16 millimeter camera, projector, tripod, lenses, all for just. Holy cow! $8,000? Who has 8,000 bucks to spend on an old camera? Wait it's a, a second. Steal. This was posted by Zach. Oh, so it's definitely overpriced then. That guy would do anything to make money. And anything. Okay. Actresses wanted for snuff movie parody. Meet up at Dock 12, Newport Harbor, Saturday at midnight, and keep quiet about it. If I was the suspicious type, I'd think this was kind of fishy. <laughs> it's the official Vava notice board. This game is board. Only registered dark. students are allowed to put notices up here. Okay. What else do we have around here? The Venice Academy of the Visual Arts. World renowned, prestigious, expensive, and my future alma mater. If all goes well with the exhibition and I get my grant, that is. Well, we'll That's see. Mary Sam. Vava's founding mother and pro-Venice activist back before the riots. She was assassinated by a corporate hired gun right after the school opened some 90 years ago. Whoa. Um. The Venice Academy of the Visual Arts. Doesn't look like I can go anywhere else. No. <clears throat> Doesn't look like it. Let's talk to these jokers. Bishop and Anne Marie. He's a photography student. She's in my life study class. Nice couple. No, I've got too much to do right now. How about her then? No, I've got too much to do right now. Okay, let's go inside. Whoa. Somebody left a banana peel hand here. Oh, it's a rubber glove. Somebody's thrown away a rubber glove. Somebody's thrown away a rubber glove. I've got a feeling it's going to be important. Why would somebody toss out a perfectly good work glove with just one big hole in it? What a terrible, terrible waste. That's pretty shocking. Uh, what else do we have? Canvas. Nice. Very Van Goghish. With just a hint of Munk. In other words, crap. Olaf's on a roll. Again. Does that guy ever run out of inspiration or energy? Must be the cold Norwegian winters. Nothing else to do but... Paint. Let's have a chat. Don't want to disturb him. Oh, all right. I guess. Okay, upstairs it is. 
Magneto. I forgot about the hologram. In fact, I've forgotten about everything in this game. Almost. Emma's really good with the holosculptor, and her imagination is so vivid. Good thing we're best friends, or I might be jealous. What else do we have? These sinks are as old as the building itself, but at least they've been renovated quite recently. Some books on color, composition, and... duck hunting? Hmm. How about that? The tools of my trade. The best thing about working up here is that nobody borrows my stuff. Well, let's borrow these. <laughs> I can only think of two things more depressing than a blank canvas. Death and taxes. Those are pretty depressing. Though. I'm way past finger painting. I need a paintbrush and palette. You've got one. Okay, what else do we have? Those are some of my most recent sketches. Unfortunately, they serve only as a barren testament to my lack of inspiration. Art books, mostly. I've browsed through all of them, looked at the pictures, but I'd much prefer to see the paintings in real life. Acrylic and oil paints. Acrylic and oil paints. Those sketchbooks belong to some of the other students who share the space. Those sketchbooks belong to some of the all others. Right, right. The fruits of my labor amount to absolutely nothing at all. Well, get painting, girl. I'm way past finger painting. I need a paintbrush and palette. All right, all right, all right. Let's make art. She's painting a silhouette, apparently. Uh oh. Babe alert. Gaga! Attention. Babe approaching. Hiya. Emma? Hi. I didn't expect to see you here today. Me neither. Are you busy? Nah. Well, I am. But I was about to wrap up for today anyway. Why? What's going on? I have an important message for you. One new message. Yeah? From whom? Believe it or not, girlfriend, but it's from Cortez. Girlfriend? Excuse me? Huh? He said to tell you that he wants to meet you, these are his exact words, where children visualize their dreams. Visualize dreams? What's that supposed to mean? Toy store. Me? Uh, ice I was cream hoping van. you would know. Uh oh, something's happening up here. All right, did, did he, say, he anything? say anything else? Yeah. Nope, that was it. Why does he want to meet you? Oh, don't tell me. You guys are having a secret love affair. Oh yeah, we're eloping and flying to Africa tonight. It's all been happening so fast. My heart's a flutter. <sighs> How romantic. I couldn't imagine a better catch than Senor Cortez, the Latin lover. <laughs> How'd you doing, babe? Uh, did he talk about... Did he talk to you about nightmares? No. Why? I don't know. It's just... My dreams are really starting to bother me. There you go again with dreams. You're obsessing, April. They're just dreams. Sometimes a banana is just a banana. What? Yeah, you mean cigar, Mrs. Freud. Your Freudian slip is showing. Cigar. <laughs> cigar? What do you mean, cigar? Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, not a banana. Whatever. The point is, you're reading too much into your dreams. I'm sure they're perfectly logical. Even a talking dragon? Is a talking dragon logical? Especially a talking... dragon? You had a dream about a dragon? Puff okay, the magic that's dragon. that's not logical. That's just silly. Still, this ought to be interesting. Go on. 
Well, there was a dragon. And you had the voice of Sean you Connery. You've that already. You had a dream about a dragon. Not just any dragon, though. A, a dragon's dragon. den. Yep, we've been through that. Talking dragon covered. What did it say? It said, I'm not interested she. in your... It was oh, a okay. she, a female dragon. What, you could tell from the skirt, high heels, and lipstick? Don't mock me, Emma. She said something to me. Something about being the mother of the future. She probably said time to get up and go to school, April. If you don't want to take my dreams seriously, I'll just stop telling you about them. Yeah. Is that a promise? Like you're in any position to make fun of my dreams? Have you looked at your sculptures lately? <gasps> oh, Cat that's fight. low. I'd punch you out if I wasn't so hungry. You want to go get some lunch at the fringe? Uh, no, not that hungry. Oh, wait. Did you eat anything at all today? Crap. I, I, I clicked it without so. thinking. I just what was the other choice? Any appetite. Doggone it. You really should eat something, April. Today's special is tortellini, so think about it. I'll be hanging out there for a while. I'll think about it. See you later. See sure. you later. Bye. Go -ga! Attention. Babe is leaving the building. Who's there? Ah! Okay. That was not a dream, I think. Ah. <sighs> She's been eating the paint. Okay, well, uh, that brings us uh, to this point. And um, so we're just going to go ahead and stop it here and continue on in another video in a bit. All right, see ya. Bye.